This is my stalker. He literally thinks he's invincible. He's made 27 accounts to harass me and I've had enough. And well, he left me alone for about a week, but he's been busy elsewhere. After careful consideration, I've decided not to share the actual screenshots that are from the conversation. That way I don't expose whose side they came from. But Mr. Man's been busy with a minor. The 30 year old has been busy with a minor. One of my followers who went into his DMs after seeing the heinous things that he had said to me, things so bad that this app automatically saw the text in those screenshots and immediately took my video down. That's how heinous the things he was saying to me were. Also, I wanna start off by saying, this is for informational purposes because this person has made physical threats towards me and I don't know that I'm safe. For those of you who don't know, we are an Arizona team. That's very apparent by the fact we frequently train at Westgate. We walked and got some pictures and videos in front of the Super Bowl, you know, stuff like that. Let's delve into where this came from. Let's start from the very beginning. I had a video posted of my service dog working in an airport with a kid trying to distract him that originally went viral. And I mean, not big viral, but it got a couple million views. And if you know my account, you know that I respond to hate comments. And of course, when someone commented, service dog, on my video, I was like, all right, well, whatever, I'll bite. That's going to make for some good content. And we started there. If you scroll back on my page, you can see the videos that are back and forth with this person. Almost all of the usernames he's used start with link. So it started off with service dog, and then dogs can't smell that, and then service dogs don't exist, and then you're not disabled, and then you are disabled, but it's because you're fat, and then uh, that I cheat on my husband, and now I have nine service dogs, and I'm abusing dogs, and all kinds of just... I seem like a kid going from thing to thing to thing to see what would potentially hurt my feelings, and none of it did. That made him upset, so he moved to Instagram. And that is where things really picked up, and that is where he found his minor obsession. His words, not mine. Let's delve into what he said to me in my DMs. It started off super simple. He just responded to some of my stories of saying, hey, this person said something really messed up with comments agreeing with the person who said that I should be ard and my dog should be. He had responded to that story of that comment by saying, this is the energy you bring out of people. So I responded by posting videos of my service dog. Right, totally nothing wrong with the people saying those things. And because I have an Instagram highlight of people who say really messed up stuff, he was added to the list. And this is where the on-screen text will immediately flag. So we're not gonna do screenshots from here, I'm gonna read it to you. Calling me a fat lazy bee. It must suck to be a frail little weak bee that would cower to real conflict. Then he invited me to uh, partake in his D, which I responded, I'm married. For about 15 minutes, he went on about how he thinks I look like a troll. He started to attack my disability by saying, don't make your heart rate spike now, wouldn't want another hospital visit. Claimed I didn't have a job. And this is where it gets spicy. He said, I just know you're a useless little C that deserves someone to slap the F out of them in public. To which I responded, he would not get within 21 feet. To which he responded with, you wouldn't do S, you effing weak a little broken B. I could scare you into going to the hospital. Literally, your heart doesn't work. Every day from here on out, I'm going to remind you of what a useless little waste of life you are. In reality, I just want to slap the F out of your stupid troll-looking face. And you wouldn't do S. Your femboy husband wouldn't do S. My marine husband wouldn't do S. It's too difficult to look at your flabby, ugly A in the mirror. Aren't you ashamed? Your life is a meaningless pit and you're reminded of that every time you stare in the mirror. Honestly, that's all I have to say. But then proceeded to continue to say. Individual messages. Look in the mirror, you fat effing slob. I told him to grow a pair. To which he said, are you asking to see my... I can't even say this because I keep laughing. <laughs> I'll gladly send you a pic, which is hilarious because while this happened, I was sitting next to my husband in bed showing him things as they came in. So we both had a nice little laugh about that little thing. I was not as lucky as the minor though because he did not send me an unsolicited picture. Unlike 
someone else. If I ever see you in the East Valley, I'll do the same. And then he went back to trying to call me a troll while also throwing in little comments like, I would say this shit to your face if I ever see you, and I will. See that fat A gut and those cankles? To which I responded, I'll see some nice tibbies. And then he made a whole bunch of comments about how he doesn't think I have a backside and he doesn't really think I have a chest either. He thinks that my gut is sticking out further than both of those things could. Just continuing on, you know, you know you're hideous, right? Stuff like that. I'm not the one that has to live their entire life in that absolutely hideous bag of S you call a body. I really made him upset with, you know you're not in control here, right? You're not in control of my self-image. You're not in control of my safety. You're not in control of anything here. That really set him off. Then he really started pushing himself. You wanted to see my big, fat, and my amazing body. See how hurt I am? He ended it with, I wish I could tell you who I was just to F up. Well, Link, I know who you are. Let's move on to what he says to children. The conversation started when I posted him on my story. This miner had hopped in his DMs to say, what's wrong with you, bro? He proceeded to call her a feeble B as well. Her response was, no D, B. To which he responded an unsolicited photo and said, you asked. They responded, I actually did not. He said, you sure did. Conversation with this minor proceeded for quite a while, where he offered to fly her out to come see him. An admission of guilt when he said, I'm in Arizona. I don't think your parents or Chris Hansen would appreciate that. Shortly afterwards, he sent her a video. And I'm sure you can imagine what this video contained. So Arizona friends, do you know this man? Do you know this dog? Their name is Ronan. Until I have this man's name, I cannot file a protective order. And I'm tired of the harassment. I'm also tired of the comments. Of the constant failed attempts at slander. It truly is like a child who is just throwing everything at somebody to try to see what's going to get a rise out of them. And you know what gets a rise out of me, Link? 30-year-olds talking to children. Especially when this whole thing stems from you making a single hate comment and ends with 27 TikTok accounts, one Instagram account that I know of, a Facebook account, calling a friend of mine's work to try to get her fired because she found out what you look like and that you were doing what you were doing in your free time, calling you out on her story. And you had the audacity to try to get her fired for calling out a kid diddler. Once all of that came out, by the way, you proceeded to continue talking to said kid. Saying that you wish you were there to hold her and feed her soup. Well, Link, the police have access to those conversations too. It's a matter of time. But what would be nice is being able to serve you with a protective order, sooner rather than later. The FBI has been notified, your police have been notified, my police have been notified, because I know your city. I know that you're within biking distance, or walking distance, of Cosmo Dog Park, Darren Gilbert. I'm prepared to protect myself and my service dog, as well as my friend and her service dog, who you've also threatened. So that's my piece, and I hope you have an excellent rest of your life far away from here.